गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज लक्ष्मी नारायण पीजीटी बॉटनी मॉडल स्कूल आत्मकोर एस बिफोर एंटरिंग इनटू आवर टॉपिक here uh, some of the questions are there uh, think and discuss uh, about these questions first question is uh, what are the main factors that affect the yield of the crop what are the factors so many factors are there uh, either it may be water or uh, uh, soil type uh, or what are the fertilizers we are using uh, or uh, variety of uh, crop uh, which we are using uh, and uh, uh, what is whatever the physical conditions uh, atmospheric conditions uh, and uh, disease resistance capacity of the crop uh, these all are the factors uh, that affect the yield of the crop okay next uh, if the plant does not get water uh, what effect uh, would this have on its growth plants can't get sufficient amount of water it means uh, the plant uh, uh, can't get a uh, sufficient amount of nutrients the plant growth uh, can't take place it means it automatically the yield decreases okay these are the some of the effects uh, of uh, Uh, water due to the scarcity of water next uh, here uh, how we can uh, control weeds uh, in our fields different methods uh, we use uh, uh, to control the weeds uh, like uh, different types of uh, okay chemicals uh, okay we have to use those chemicals to control the weeds no don't use uh, chemicals in our fields uh, because they cause atmospheric pollution okay then which method we have to use um, we have to use disease resistant capacity seeds uh, uh, at the time uh, those uh, uh, seeds uh, can grow and they can't uh, give a chance to grow the weeds is uh, in this manner uh, to control the weeds uh, majorly by physical method we have to remove the weeds okay uh, don't use the chemicals to control the weeds next uh, here name the diseases uh, caused by bacteria in plants tell me any one, one disease uh, in plants uh, that is caused by the bacteria a citrus canker in citrus plants uh, that is caused by the bacteria name xanthomonas axenopodes citri xanthomonas axenopodes citri bacteria causes uh, diseases in citrus plants uh, lemon plants which is the best suitable method to control the pests is yes, normal method is the farmers use uh, different types of uh, pesticides uh, chemicals to control the pests whether it is good habit no don't use pesticides or uh, insecticides uh, to kill the uh, pests sir then what uh, how we can protect uh, our crops uh, how we can get uh, uh, how we can get high yielding how we can increase our yield is another methods are there uh, to control the uh, pests okay different types of uh, uh, diseases occurs in the plants uh, to control these diseases uh, not only these pesticides who useful other than some uh, other uh, methods also helpful to control the uh, pests uh, those are the bio those are the bio insecticides or your uh, in that uh, the, those bio insecticides are one of the type of natural pest controlling methods today our topic is natural pest controlling methods yes one minute your
natural pest controlling methods okay here we are controlling the pests by using the lights or with the help of some of the special bacteria bacillus thuringiensis like a helpful bacteria or spiders or ladybird beetles these are helpful to control the pests okay not only chemicals not only pesticides not only insecticides some natural methods are there those natural methods also helpful to us to control the pests our lesson name is improve improving agricultural products okay challenges in improving agricultural products in that uh, our lesson uh, our topic is uh, natural pest controlling methods is yes, today lesson learning outcomes with this lesson we should learn okay we should know about the uh, harmful effects of chemical fertilizers and next uh, you can learn the importance of disease resistance seeds okay uh, not only control after uh, infestation uh, after our crop is infested uh, uh, disease occurs in our crop uh, okay in the early time also we have to use disease resistant seeds uh, if in case uh, we use disease resistant uh, seeds uh, it means uh, bacteria and fungi and viruses does not cause harm to our crop uh, our crop is healthy and we will get uh, a high yielding uh, okay in this manner we can increase our yields uh, and next uh, you can find out the trap crops uh, yeah, yes uh, what is the trap uh, what is the trap crop um, in a uh, are uh, paddy crops or cotton crops uh, along with uh, paddy and cotton uh, some other uh, other crops uh, some other plants uh, especially marigold uh, plants grow okay why we are growing marigold plants uh, in um, uh, paddy crops or uh, cotton crops uh, to trap the insect to trap the insect to kill the insects uh, which are causing uh, harm to our uh, main crop our main crop is paddy okay your uh, uh, insects um, uh, in number increases uh, we will get uh, uh, less yielding uh, to reduce the to reduce the insects uh, okay uh, to reduce the loss of our crop uh, here we are growing marigold plants in paddy paddy crop because to reduce the insects okay in this manner trap crops also a helpful one to get a high yielding next you will get an idea about biological control of pest biological control of pest okay just here pests uh, insects uh, or bacteria all bacteria are not harmful some of the bacteria are helpful one some of the insects also helpful one some of the biological organisms also helpful some insects also helpful to us uh, to control the disease causing pests all these things uh, we will discuss uh, today's class okay is um, natural pest controlling methods crop yield is drastically affected by the infestation of pests pest decreases uh, our yield okay many farmers uh, use uh, pyrethroids like uh, pesticides uh, insecticides uh, to control the pests is uh, automatically Uh, when our crop is uh, infected at the time um, most of the time we will think uh, how to control the uh, pests in our fields so only one of the simple technique uh, uh, nowadays just uh, up to now we know that uh, pesticides okay we are using pesticides uh, to control the pests 
but uh, these pesticides are harmful to the nature harmful to the human beings uh, cause cancer like diseases uh, and uh, cause uh, soil pollution air pollution uh, that's why reduce these pesticides uh, as much as possible which are harmful to human beings uh, and environment uh, to prevent the damage and increase the uh, yield uh, natural pest controlling methods are adapted okay use natural pest controlling methods like ladybird beetle this can um, uh, kill the some of the insects uh, okay use this ladybird beetle um, okay this one is helpful to control the pests next here some of the natural pest controlling methods those are the first one is the land preparation sir you are saying that uh, not to use pesticides uh, then what to we have we have to adapt uh, what are the methods we have to follow then we have to follow these methods land preparation selection of the crop biological control crop rotation trap crops aakarshaka pantalu these are helpful uh, to control the pests is yes, uh, your land preparation also helpful uh, to control the pests insects uh, disease causing uh, organisms uh, control and uh, your uh, this this one is the merits uh, biological control is biological these are the organisms uh, they can kill uh, disease causing uh, organisms uh, in the fields uh, yes uh, and another methods uh, temperature is also one of the essential factor to control the pests in our fields next time of sowing seeds use certified seeds use resistant varieties okay temperature also plays an important role at the particular temperature these pests insects can't grow they are inactive in nature uh, okay if uh, seeds are in that particular temperature uh, or uh, uh, in our fields uh, a particular temperature is uh, there the temperature is helpful uh, to escape from the pests uh, okay uh, to decrease the loss next one pruning the plant uh, this pruning the plant is also helpful uh, whatever the infected uh, parts uh, in our fields uh, we have to remove we have to cut the in infected parts uh, and uh, we have we have to thrown away those parts away from the fields uh, that is also helpful uh, to avoid the loss to total uh, crop uh, total field and next one is uh, using mechanical methods uh, like this uh, electrical bulbs uh, or uh, other uh, uh, methods also helpful uh, to control the pests in our fields uh, next one is the use of natural pesticides uh, neem oil uh, that is also helpful uh, to control the pest yes uh, first one is the land preparation land preparation is uh, helpful uh, whatever the uh pests uh, eggs uh, and larval forms uh, which are present uh, inside the soil uh, all those things are uh, killed by the land preparation methods deep tilling uh, okay, whenever we can uh, plough the land uh, very deeply at that time those eggs uh, and larval forms uh, are inactive in nature and uh, they are those can't uh, survive in those uh, soils uh, okay in this method uh, uh, we can control the pests uh, deep summer ploughing the land uh, before sowing uh, is essential to provide aeration it provide aeration to our land uh, to the soil uh, active friendly microbes what are the friendly microbes uh, some essential earthworms are present uh, and bacteria bacillus thuringiensis uh, 
like bacteria also survive in our soil uh, those are helpful and uh, uh, inhabiting the soil um, then uh, destroying weeds uh, destroy the weeds uh, what weeds means uh, the plants other than the crop or the weeds uh, and uh, hidden pests uh, hidden pests are destroyed uh, by ploughing method uh, okay next ploughing is useful to remove eggs uh, pupa and small insects uh, present in the soil those all the eggs are destroyed this is causing organisms uh, eggs uh, larval forms are destroyed by ploughing method uh, in this manner uh, our crop our crop uh, does not infected uh, we can't uh, get uh, diseases uh, and uh, our crop is healthy yield increases uh, okay next one uh, proper selection of crops we have to select uh, a proper crop okay the crop should be selected wisely according to the according according to the climatic conditions of the area physical conditions of the field okay physical conditions of the field these are helpful to reduce the insects to reduce the pests this would help to prevent the attack of the pests pests should not attack okay example citrus plants much prone to pests in water logged conditions and sandy soils that's why don't cultivate these citrus crops citrus plants in the water logged conditions okay what crop we have to cultivate think wisely depending upon the nature of the soil properties of the soil we have to choose the crop then biological control is yes, uh, your our crop is uh, infected then what we have to do whether we have to you know, use pesticides uh, or insecticides uh, okay don't use pesticides you have to use pesticides no don't use why those are harmful to the nature those ca cause uh, harmful effects on human beings uh, that's why don't use uh, those pesticides use uh, these biological controlling methods pest can be controlled on a large scale by conserving natural enemies um, and releasing natural predators um, here some of the natural predators are there uh, these predators are friendly and feed on the crop pests and reduce their population here spider dragon fly these are the friendly one friendly insects uh, these are helpful to the human being these are helpful to the farmers uh, these can control the pests uh, which cause diseases uh, in the uh, plants as um, one more time look here spiders dragon fly chrysopa mirids ladybird beetle jacids trips okay or oh, yes is uh, is here uh, these up to ladybird uh, ladybird beetle etc these are helpful or the insects um, that eat worms like jacids uh, okay all these uh, five insects um, helpful to uh, eat the jacids uh, these are the harmful which can cause harm to the crops jacids and uh, trips uh, these are the harmful insects these two are the harmful insects uh, this can cause uh, different uh, uh, diseases in plants uh, and they can eat the plant leaves uh, and they can suck the juices of the leaves uh, okay Uh, to kill to control these jacids and trips uh, the spider dragon fly chrysopa mirids uh, ladybird beetles are helpful uh, okay and next uh, in the biological control uh, some of the bacteria your one bacteria is there uh, okay uh, bacteria trichoderma bacteria lives uh, in the eggs of stem borer 
leaves eggs of stem borer this one is the bacteria you know about the structure of the bacteria flagella okay uh, these bacteria are uh, helpful uh, to control the stem borer and next uh, tobacco caterpillar this is the caterpillar stage uh, caterpillar gram caterpillar and uh, destroy these pests uh, at the egg stages uh, the bacteria which bacteria trichoderma bacteria that can destroy the pests uh, at the egg stages next uh, some bacteria like uh, bacillus thuringiensis this bacillus bt bac b means bacillus t thuringiensis bt cotton okay bacillus thuringiensis uh, destroy some pests um, next crop rotation another method to control the pests is the uh, crop rotation it is also one of the best method uh, to control the pests um, crop rotation is the best practice uh, for avoiding uh, pests um, after paddy cultivating black gram groundnut etc prevents um, to grow virus disease on paddy which virus to grow virus disease that is controlled by using the which method crop rotation method don't to cultivate paddy crop uh, every year in the same field we have to rotate we have to change the crop in this year we can cultivate the paddy in the next year we have to cultivate black gram or groundnut or red gram or cotton plants that is helpful to the field and farmers as a year also this one is helpful to control to prevent the tungro virus disease on paddy next um, after cotton after cotton cultivating uh, maize and uh, gingerly prevents gram caterpillar is uh, this one is also helpful another crop rotation method uh, after cultivating the cotton uh, cultivate uh, maize and uh, gingerly this one prevents uh, Uh, gram caterpillar next after red gram uh, cultivating maize and uh, corn prevents uh, spotted bollworm and uh, dry diseases okay in this manner uh, this crop rotation is very helpful to us uh, to control the pests next uh, another important one topic uh, to control the pests okay not only pesticides uh, your so many methods are helpful to us uh, to control the uh, pests uh, here uh, trap crabs akarshaka pantalu this akarshaka pantalu also helpful uh, to control the pests uh, to control the insects uh, to control the disease causing organism this is an excellent method to divert the pest from the infestation to our major crop do you know why jetropine cotton fields marigold in a mirchi fields cultivated is um, these are the uh, which one trap crops marigold is the trap crop jetropa is also trap crop in cotton fields a trap crop is grown around the major crop uh, which attracts pests towards it uh, leaving our crops from damage our major crop uh, did not get um, damaged as uh, yes, these pests attack the trap crops uh, in this manner uh, we can uh, control the pests uh, in our fields uh, here uh, trap crops are helpful and next one is um, temperature temperature inhibits the activity of pests uh, by making them inactive the bacteria or fungal forms uh, which are present uh, along with our seeds along with our crop uh, 
those are inactive um, when particular temperature at a, at a particular temperature so this temperature also plays uh, a important role uh, to control the pests to control the insects uh, hot water treatment of bulbs uh, hot air treatment of godowns can be used uh, to eradicate the pests um, is uh, the time of planting uh, these um, bulbs uh, potato bulbs uh, we have to uh, treat with um, hot water uh, so whatever the bacteria and fungal forms are present uh, we, along with the bulbs um, the, they may be kill and uh, uh, healthy plants can survive is yes, in this manner uh, we can uh, uh, we can survive uh, uh, healthily with uh, these uh, temperature methods um, is a hot water treatment method uh, is also helpful to control the pests next uh, time of sowing um, at a particular time we have to plant uh, we have to grow the crop uh, okay uh, yes your the time of uh, planting uh, should be altered uh, for controlling pests uh, yellow mustard uh, this can here uh, aphids uh, aphids uh, attack yellow mustard in particular season at particular time we can show that can control these pests uh, early sowing of mustard uh, helps to avoid aphid attack okay in this manner time also plays um, a major role to control the pests next one use of certified seeds don't use uh, whatever the seeds present uh, with us at our home okay they may cause uh, diseases uh, in our crop use only certified seeds don't use the seeds along with you at home most far most farmers uh, use seeds based on previous crop uh, last year crop uh, seeds uh, they can use but that is not the good method uh, don't use last year crop seeds uh, but they may be infested uh, and attract the pests uh, in later stages uh, those seeds uh, may contain uh, some of the spores uh, fungal spores bacterial spores uh, along with them uh, whenever the seeds will be germinated at the same time bacteria spores virus spores fungal spores uh, may be germinate and they can cause um, a lot of damage to our crop that's why don't use um, those infest infested seeds uh, in uh, insects uh, attacked seeds uh, okay spores uh, having seeds uh, use only certified seeds certified seeds ensure uh, clean and uh, quality seeds uh, they must be used uh, as planting material to avoid any damage okay next uh, use of resistant varieties um, okay after uh, infestation uh, we are thinking uh, how to control the disease uh, okay before that one uh, at, at the time of planting uh, we can plant the disease resistant uh, varieties um, they may helpful to us uh, those disease resistant uh, plants uh, plants uh, are uh, very healthy no bacteria and virus uh, and fungal forms uh, does not cause uh, disease to those disease uh, resistant uh, varieties of uh, plants um, that's why use resistant varieties of plants uh, using resistant varieties uh, will help to reduce the attack of pests uh, example resistant varieties of uh, rice uh, in this manner uh, we can control the diseases control the insects uh, another method uh, pruning the plant uh, 
unhealthy plants and infested parts should be cut and destroyed to prevent the spread of infestation to the remaining plants whatever the unhealthy parts are there in our fields we have to remove it to reduce the loss example here in the citrus plants here in this citrus plants what we are doing we are removing the in infested parts yes pruning of citrus plants in april and may reduce the infestation of shoot borer okay here we can reduce these diseases by pruning methods citrus lemon or citrus oranges plants next one using mechanical methods to control pests here we are using the nets using net to cover the crop will help from pest infestation example for the nets nursery of tomato and chili are covered with nets to protect from the transmission of viruses from the white fly these are the white fly the white fly can transmit the viruses uh, which can cause diseases uh, in our vegetable crops uh, to avoid the loss uh, we have to use uh, nets uh, next uh, light traps uh, these are the light traps uh, these are helpful to control the pests uh, these are mostly used to attract adult moths uh, butterfly like uh, organisms um, any lamp or electric bulb is used uh, as a trap uh, we have to uh, say uh, set uh, a light uh, or uh, a paper greased with um, oil should be used uh, to trap the insects in the fields uh, in this method also we can control the pests uh, we can increase the yield yes um, another method okay that is what is this method use of natural pesticides neem oil is used to control pests neem oil inhibits pests from laying eggs mating or even flying when we spray the neem oil on our crop at the time whatever the uh, insects are there uh, they can't lay eggs uh, and they can't even uh, they can't fly next year uh, it is uh, effective against a wide range of pests uh, like green leaf hopper in rice uh, tobacco caterpillars this is the leaf hopper and this one is the caterpillar um, okay Uh, to control these also neem oil is helpful one now time to evaluation which is the eco friendly one to control pests chemical pesticides or natural pest controlling methods okay write down in your notebook questions and try to find out the answers read the textbook twice and thrice and uh, learn the hard words meanings with the help of dictionaries okay next uh, why marigold crop cultivated in paddy fields what are the harmful effects of chemical pesticides and last question is uh, name the bacteria which control the pests in fields thank you thank you very much